to you. Other questions? Okay, stand on up. What would you like to ask? Hi, exactly how do you see these spirits? Are they the whole body? Are they bright light? Sometimes, they... like before when I was seeing for this gentleman right here, I mean, they, he was strong. He, this man wanted to make himself known that he was here. Sometimes I can see him, I can describe them. But then they kind of disappear after a while. Or, like right now, I can see so many spirits in this room that they want to get through, they want to get through. But they're not going to come through to you, especially if you have a fear. Four letter F word will keep you from doing and everything that you really need to do in this lifetime. That's fear. So open up, know that they're with you. It's as simple as finding that penny with a date on it. You, everything we find, look at that date. It could be the birth year, it could be the day, the year they passed. <laughs> Everything means something. Smells. I smell. I can taste it. I can feel it. But I also turn it off too. I don't walk around like this. Right. So. I would think they would kind of drive you crazy. Yeah. Trying to get your attention. You've got to be in a good space. You really have to be in a good space to hear it. Everybody can do what I'm doing right now. It just takes practice. I practice. I have a healing center, so I practice this because I enjoy hearing them, and I'm not afraid of them. A lot of people are afraid. I do a lot of meditation. I do a lot of meditation. I go into the quiet and just go deep within. Most of the time you get it. It's almost as though you know the answer. When you go to sleep, you keep asking, asking, asking. My mother used to say, count sheep, count sheep. I used to dream about sheep. <laughs> what I say, if you've got a question that's really hard, that you really can't get, just keep asking that question. By the morning, you'll have the answer. And it's just annoying. Now let's talk about when they move things. What does that mean? That's a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> and they do it when your energy is the highest, like when Barb showed about the arm. They do it when our energy is the highest, or when they feel that we need them the most. Like, you know you put your keys there, but they're not there. And you keep saying, I know I put the keys there, I know I put them there, and you're in a hurry. Well, there's a reason why you're not finding them keys. It could be spirit is move them keys because maybe you didn't need to get in the car at that time. They're holding you back for a reason. Then all of a sudden, 15 minutes later, you see the keys there and you think you're going nuts. That's kind of what they do. And they do it for reasons. It's all for reasons. Can they hurt us? Can no, absolutely. Not, not at all. Would any of our... Are there, are, are, aren't there evil spirits out there? Well, if you don't give them the energy, uh -huh. they can't. Really? Okay. If you don't feed into them, they can't be here. So what about when you're living in a house mm -hmm. and you, see, you think it's haunted? Well, you can have some fun. You can ask them what they want. Sometimes sometimes they've passed and they don't know they're passed, especially if they're young children. Sometimes they just like being there, so make them your friend. Or you can ask them, please, you're really scaring me, go away. Spirits listen to us. They honor where we come from. A friend of mine said, I'm so afraid, and I told him, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. How come I don't hear him? Uh, you just said, don't talk to them. <laughs> you're not going to hear them if you're afraid, because they won't scare them. Okay, well, let's do one more before we leave. Who do you want to go to? Um, I want to go to you. Um, what's your first name? Where are we pointing? Right here next to me, gentlemen. Ah, uh, yep, the one that's in it. Oh, oh Michelle. Okay. Michelle. Michelle, you've had a, you had a Michelle. wonderful, um, I don't know if you collect a lot of angels, you had a wonderful angel standing behind you before. And as that angel disappeared, there was a woman who came in, and she just had so much love for you. And a very tall woman, really beautiful, um, and she's telling me she's got her voice. So I don't know if she sang in a choir, or nobody acknowledged her, but she just has the most wonderful voice. And she's telling me to tell you it's going to be okay, so I don't know what you're worried about. She says the more you worry, the more you're going to bring it to you. So the more you worry about that situation, the more it's going to come to you. That She says all you've got to do is call us, and we're right there. Now, you do have a lot of stuff going on in your house, correct? Yeah, lights. Lights are really big in your house. And if they haven't been really active, they're going to get more active. Because you bring the energy. You're so very psychic that you can talk to them and they can hear you. And do you work with animals by any chance? There's a lot of... There's she has a cat, right? <laughs> do you have a cat? Oh, I saw them too, yeah. It says, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, cats are very psychic. 
And there's, it's almost as though you know what that cat needs. Was the cat just sick? Or go through something? Well, I'm telling you, he's eating something he shouldn't. He's throwing he's up somewhere. He's eating things he shouldn't eat. Yeah. And he's telling me he don't like the change in the cat and the in the food. You just change his food. Oh. Don't like that. Oh, give him back That's his regular food. He didn't. Yes, <laughs> give him back his food. He's really connected to you. Um, yeah. He wants his old food back. And there's something that you change in his litter too. Don't like it. He's he telling me he doesn't thing. like change. He doesn't, he doesn't like change. Change. And neither do you. No, I don't. Know. So you think our animals? Do you think we pick our animals? Uh, uh. They pick us. He picked you. And there's something about changing his litter too, because there's something you do changing his litter. He doesn't like it because it smells. So I don't know what you're spraying in there. Not good. He doesn't like it. So don't do that anymore. Know that he hears you. It's almost as though you look in his eyes and, and you know what he's saying. He really is sent to you as a, a little guardian angel cat. I can see little, little wings coming out. Is he about eight? Yeah. Okay. Go back to the other food. Let him enjoy it. Don't listen to what they say. He wants the other food. So you promise to do that, right? Yeah. Well, he, she will or he'll, he'll leave her his yeah. things, like he's doing. The hair bolts, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Thank you. Thanks. Everybody give Don Collins. And thank you all for coming today. I really appreciate you taking the time out to come and see the show. And uh, we will see you next time. I'm John Cantio. Bye-bye. <laughs>